Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and, and today we're continuing our Long War Legendary Iron Man playthrough. It's time for Operation Earthly Mountain. Which mountain is not earthly? And we're trying to get another scientist. Uh, that would nice beca uh, be nice because we have an effective number of uh, 16 scientists at the moment. This would make it number 17. Can't have enough of these guys. And uh, we're going to do that against seven to nine enemies. Uh, let's go. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Good, we're landed, so and this looks very much like uh, the uh, like a mission that we had beforehand. This parking lot. Let's take a look and uh, see what we're dealing with. Okay, hey, well, not much apparently, as everybody can just simply sprint to here. And I think the plan will be the same as compared to the last time that we played on this map, which is go straight and then take a nice little U-turn and be done with it. Oh, big amount of enemies to the right. Okay, we're coming in from here. Maybe one more round for a setup and then we could try to engage these guys. That would trigger, which of course we don't want. That on the other hand would not trigger. Sniper. Get a good position for them. Maybe up here. The problem is that this is unfortunately a pretty sizable barrier to to shoot through. Of course, this here would be a great position, but it equally uh, starts to trigger. This, at least from the preview, seems clear. So Hayward moves in. And we are moving all the way up to there. Good, we got one pack. And if we can take them out, we should be fine. One down. This looks like the stuff. And how about moving to here? That shows him in all of his unprotected glory. That's going to be a solid kill. You know that was good. 
All right, sniper. Moves to here. Not the best position, but one that we could defend. Here I come. Okay, from here on, we could make a run for it. So here Good, we're getting a couple of kills, which is bad. I think we don't want to overstay our welcome. What's over there? Will do. I might have winged them. Evac confirmed. Packing it in. Okay. With the exception of that little hit that we have taken which was unfortunate all of the rest actually worked out relatively well i would have needed to stop exactly when we would have been uh, revealed that would have uh, given us uh, the choice to see the guy without uh, being hit but three days isn't too bad. Good, I can see a couple of uh, connections in the future and we got a tiny bit better uh, research. So not bad, not bad at all. So, I think what we would want to do is uh, continue to heal. We have plenty of missions that are at 100%. Smash and grab mission here, which is already very light, so we can definitely do that. High explosives, we want to seize enemy uh, resource cash, so let's do that. The salamander is in action. Out of this area. We have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. The firebrand will handle the rest. Okay, fantastic. So, again, our target would be anywhere between four to six crates. And we're going to use some of the high ground here in order to get what we want. And bubble. Okay, cool. What a nice map. I like the design. On my way. Okay, nothing here. Pretty sure it's safe to move to here. All right, careful uh, with that drone. Hound dog moves all the way to the front. So 
Heads moves to here and I think Bubble kind of midfield as far as he can move. He seems to be a little bit on the slower end. One, two, three. Let's see, are there any other crates? You never know with the crate box whether or not these are actual real crates or not. It seems that those three are real. Moving to designated position. Okay. Okay, so we know there is a drone there. Making it a bit more difficult for us to advance. Moving to here. I'm just trying to get ne near to the cra uh, near the crates. Got it. Sniper can stay in the back all by themselves. Heads moves up, and we are just overwatching. End of turn. Okay, we're continuing to move up because the further we're in and the more crates we can get from the very beginning, the better. to here and on the contrary we're moving to here just a tiny bit so that heads can take this position Good, we would get three crates for sure. Fourth one is there, fifth one here. Enemy squad located. I think we could Kill that with a sniper shot. But we could, we could equally just wait a little bit longer. Let them come just a tiny bit closer. Take both of them. At least I guess we could. Um, seven to nine. Yeah, I think we're okay. Let's start with that Meg Archer. Almost got it. Marking is because we're likely going to move. Yeah. 
That's 100% kill on the Mac. Pretty good. Next up, moving to here. Let's kill the drone. Hard target, minimal damage. Fortunately, not enough damage. sword there's likely another pack we're hunkering down it's okay we can take him next turn I don't want to trigger anything this turn matter of fact he, he didn't want to stir something up either supplies here we won't be able to capitalize on these supplies now all right heads moves over here that allows us still not to get there holy Moving up. Overwatch. Overwatch. Scanning. Scanning. Going to lose two crates. Uh, it's painful, but we needed to move up. Enemies are likely going to move into us next turn. That's why I was very, very careful. Just didn't want uh, to be in a situation where, um, where we're pulling multiple packs. That'll set him up and knock him down. Uh, we'll stay here next time. This might be marked, and we want uh, that. That would give us an edge. There's a chance that this is going to be marked. Okay, now the name of the game is not to pull anything else. Tarek, don't please don't stand in the open. Oscar Mike into command and from over here we're having a rel relatively good line of sight to shoot. 
and Tarek. I mean, we do have other crates on the other side, right? So let's just get into cover. Scanning. Good, we were lucky. This one here was marked. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will There's one more pack. I've got eyes on Advent this one has triggered it. Uh, maybe there's yet another one. Not 100% sure yet. Absolutely. Where was the third one? Sure thing. It's back here, okay, cool. Can't reach all the way back, but we can definitely do this here. You're just lucky they don't let me use my hand. No problem. I want loot. Moves to here. I've got eyes on an advent position. And what's our chance to stun her? 50-50. Let's rather take the drone. Okay. Never mind. Not good. Cover the flank! Weapons burning ammo Stunner. Yep. I think we have a mind shield, maybe. Oh no, maybe we just manage to avoid things to our defense. Not a full kill. Moves to here. Teaches her a lesson. You can't handle me. And another Lerum core. Cool. I got this thing here. Who's taking it? Good. We're going to check out bo uh, check both of these boxes next turn. Not a problem. Which is this. Into marking further box there into this marking don't waste my time into this marking that's three where is the last box we got one here 
one, two. So one, two, three, four. I think it's over there. I think it is over there. Whatever you say. No need to ask twice. Rolling out. Firebrand, it's time to go. Stepping off. Reinforcements are soon going to come in. Marking that last crate. Oh my gosh, we got nine crates. That's fantastic. Good, and we made all of this without uh, getting injured. That makes up for the slight injury that we had on the last mission. Okay, cool. Very good. Very, very good. The 7 to 9 enemy missions, they are fine. They are just an easy snack in between. Specifically when we're getting more equipment. Cool. Wrong planet. Let's do long watch. And hats. Gets a uh, chain shot. Uh, Hound dog. Okay, yeah, sure. You guys definitely can bond. Cool. Very cool. Uh, nearly 100 supplies. That's good. Plenty of other stuff. Appreciate it. And we're now up to 17 scientists. Things are looking very good. We're getting ahead of the curve. Long War of the Chosen is way more snowbally than the normal XCOM. If you play your cards right, then you get far, far ahead and eventually will overtake uh, the enemies. Uh, there is a lot uh, that we could that we could train here. Let's just go with Bastion. I want to test out how good that is and if it um, confers the entire fortress immunity. That would be awesome. We got some more training uh, to do, or bonding rather. And do we have a skirmisher that can benefit from training? I think the answer is no at the moment. Good, let's go through our other missions and see where we stand. Network Tower, Grey Knights still need a lot of time for that. Ultramarines for their network tower also need a lot of time. Then we got 
a complete fresh mission that I apparently have not uh, put anyone on. That of course cannot be the case, so let's send a chapter onto it. Blood Angels are still a bit tired. 47 hours. But the salamanders could do it. The salamanders could might, uh, very well do it. They did a good job. Uh, this will be a harder mission though. Uh, what heck the re hidden resistance computer? Well, we could get out of um, out of it with an evac if needed. This team certainly isn't as strong as the other team, so I gotta keep that in mind. But these guys, six of them, uh, could take on 20 enemies. The uh, question is always, can they take on the reinforcements? So that'll be a bit of a stretch. If we put an intel and go down to 15, I think that that uh, would work well. But then it is intel for intel, so... Hmm. I would feel better if uh, the Blood, Knight, uh, Blood Angels would do it, but they are not available. The other option is letting the Grey Knights uh, do it. Let me just see where they, uh, where they are. They are doing a smash and grab uh, mission, so that they could do, and then if they are still fit, they could do the next mission, so that's not too bad, I guess. Then we do have the Space Wolves, which have a quite sizable mission here. Might as well give them as much time as they need. And we would have an HQ assault ready, which I think I wanted to uh, let the Blood uh, Angels do when they are uh, ready. And finally we got that here, which is not taken. So we're doing okay. I think we're doing that smash and grab. And then uh, the Grey Knights could continue and do the other mission if they still have enough uh, power left in them. We're now fighting Strengths 11, Vigilance 19. That's a lot. Strengths 8, Vigilance 20 up there. So the enemies are ramping it up. You can even see Vigilance 10 uh, up here, right? So I think we're going to do that uh, the next time when we're playing. I'll uh, just open up with uh, the the Grey Knights here, get them to 100% and basically let them do the mission. Sounds like a plan to me. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy uh, the series and want to see more uh, long more of the chosen content, leave a comment and a like down below. That always helps the series and motivates me to take uh, on longer challenges. Take care and have a good day. Bye bye.